All right, all right. Everybody, it's Tanya Smith here. It's your girl Tanya with Stream Like a Boss TV and Get Noticed with Video at GetNoticedWithVideo.com. So if you read the description for tonight, you may know that I do not have a structured and planned out video to do for you today. So I really literally am going to be taking questions. Let me just share with you really quickly that it's my birthday week. And so I have really fully been engaged in playtime <laughs> as much as I possibly can. Still getting some work in, but definitely just didn't dedicate myself to planning out tonight's live. So I'm just going to be honest and real with you. I wanted to enjoy this time. My husband Preston made it home this week just in time for my special day. So I was very excited about that, and I wanted to enjoy it. So I did not take that time away and um, do what I normally do, which is to talk about how to leverage live stream so that you can stand out online, serve more people, and sell more of your services. But guess what? I'm still here with you tonight because I want to answer your general questions if you have anything that you want to talk about, feel free to pop that into the chat. Let me say hello and welcome to my OGs. Look, so they know what to do. If you are someone who has watched my show before, if you've been with us before, I want you to type in hashtag OG. And if you, if this is your very first time hanging out with us, then I want you to type in hashtag newbie. So I know because my topic was not clear and was not attractive and eye-catching, I may not have a lot of newbies, but for those of you who are inside of my Facebook community or LinkedIn space or YouTube or wherever else you may be, go ahead and pop your information in the chat. Let me know where you're from. Let me know if you're an OG or a newbie and let me know if you have any questions. I do have a few things I want to talk a little bit about. Let me say hello to Marcia and Michelle. And I know there's a couple of other people that I'm showing, at least as far as count here. If you are someone who has been looking at how to do live streaming, how to leverage more live video so that you can really just grow your brand and really just engage your audience, this is the place for you to be. And if you haven't seen some of my previous videos, make sure you go back because we are typically on each and every week on Thursdays like clockwork at 8 p.m. Eastern. And it's one of my favorite things to do. So next week we'll be back on with an official <laughs> topic. And thank you for the, birth the necklace. This is actually one of my birthday gifts that I received. So thank you for that. Um, I love it, too, because it has my Wonder Woman theme going, the red and the blue and the gold, which is pretty awesome. I want to share an update with you for those of you who were with me last week and you were like, what is going on with her camera? Holy moly. What was happening is my camera was actually freezing up big time. And so what I ended up doing is I got myself that backup that we were talking about, a Lumina webcam. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Tell them, Michelle. Okay, so two things I'm going to share. And I really, this is not structured at all. So seriously, take me down whatever path you want to take me. But Michelle just took me down this, this path, and then I'll go back to the cam thing. Last night, we had such a good time talking about YouTube, y'all. We talked about 10 ways that you can optimize your YouTube videos. Because here's the thing, I'm not going to sit here and profess to be a pro at all things video, but I will tell you that I am definitely a student of all things video. And in the process of me learning, I don't mind sharing what I'm learning. And one of the things that has really been effective for me specifically with YouTube or video this year is really establishing more of a YouTube presence. Even though I had a presence in some of the other spaces, um, there are reasons why it makes sense for you to be in that space. And so we talked a lot about that. We also shared some tips on how to use TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is one of a couple of tools that I use and that a lot of different video people use to help you to find and identify the right keywords, to ensure that you're creating titles that make sense, to make the most of and optimize your description. 
So we did a tutorial on keywords as well, and it really was bomb. So thank you for that, <laughs> Michelle, for the heads up and sharing with people they need to consider Stream Bosses Academy. Now, we are not going to open up Stream Bosses again until the 26th of this month. And in the process of doing so, one of the things that I will share with you in just a second will be a little bit of a sneak peek of a tool that we're going to be using. Mr. RK3 in the house. Look, I always love it when you stop by and it always triggers me to remind myself. Let me write it down right now. I need to reach out to you after this show because I need to get you on my books. I need you to come back. I know you've done an interview with me once, but you got to come back, RK3, because we got to talk shop. We got to talk about some things. So I have just put myself a note so I can remember to do that as soon as I jump off of this and see what your schedule, your calendar looks like. Speaking of that, one of the things that we're doing moving forward is definitely inviting more guests. And I'll be having more guest interviews over the coming 2023 calendar year. I'm very excited about that. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Michelle. Look, I want to... Um, I know I'm a little bit all over the place, but again, I don't have structure tonight. So you can see what happens when you don't have structure. You can be everywhere. <laughs> but look, that's good for you. If you have questions that you want answered, pop them in the chat. I'm looking to see what you have for me so that I can answer questions for you. In terms of the camera, I wanted to go back to that, and I also will give you a sneak peek of what I'm working on. There's a tool. Yes. See, I get distracted. Squirrel. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. Um, camera. Camera first. Let me play with this camera. I'm going to put it onto a screen where you can kind of see. I know, Michelle. You are not helping. Anthony Jones in the house. What's up? <laughs> Thank you for the birthday wishes. I so appreciate you. I really do. I've had such a fun time. There is something to be said when you do not have to stay on this strict schedule, right? There's something to be said when you literally can just enjoy life. And I honestly, I'm at this point right now where I'm just enjoying everything I do. Like I, I won't do it if it's not fun. It's that simple. So when people talk to me about video and they're like, you know what? I'm just scared. I don't want to do it. Yes, Michelle squirrel. <laughs> when people say that they are, are not excited about doing it, I never try to push anybody to doing video into doing video if they can't see it as something that they can enjoy. My goal is to try to help them to get to a place where they really recognize the value and the benefit and they can see it as something that is fun because I'm going to tell you when I when this turned around for me was when I really truly started to enjoy being on camera. When I, I started to enjoy having the conversations and teaching and sharing and coaching using the power of this visual media. When it became fun, it, it just opened up so many doors. So I want that for you if that's something you want for yourself. And I really feel like that's part of my purpose. That's why I'm here. So let's talk about Lumina because I want to, and yes, Michelle said it best because literally, you know, as, as my age comes upon me, sneaks upon me every year, it is. It's becoming more and more of a time of boldness and confidence. And I just feel so much lighter. I feel comfortable in my own skin. But it took time. It was a journey. And if you're feeling the opposite of that right now, then maybe we should be talking. So get in touch. Yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. And Jada, look, Jada is my girl. Y'all, okay, TikTok influencer, super special lady, incredible mama, all the things. The fact that she enjoys what she's doing on TikTok, that's why she's doing so well. The fact that I'm enjoying what I'm doing in video now, the fact that many of the ladies in the academy, in spite of the things that happened that may be 
womp womp, <laughs> still get really excited about doing what they do. I don't want to forget this. So I'm going to say this before I get to, yes, Venice just said it, girl. And this is queen of boldness right here, Venice. Boldness at this age is so important and really at any age, right? But especially as we're growing into who we are and who we're becoming and we're owning it and feeling comfortable about the decisions that we've made and we have no regrets. There was a time in my life, honestly, when I was slightly younger <laughs> that I had some regrets. I felt like, you know, what if I could go back in time, if I had a time machine and I can go back and make different decisions and choices, but I'm going to tell you, you know what, in this moment, I'm like every decision that I made, whether it was bad or good, was something that led me to this moment. So I really want you to think about that. What, No matter what you're going through right now, there is probably a reason that you're going through it. There's probably something that is part of the story that you're creating for yourself. And you just can't see it right now. But I just trust me, it will get better. It will be, it will become a part of your larger story and who you're going to be in the very near future is what you need to get excited about. So, yes, I love it, y'all. Thank you, JP, for the birthday week wishes. Yay. I love it. I love it. So here's the thing. I was going to share some tests um, of the webcam. I'm going to switch it up real quick and show you. So I have my webcam right here. This is the Sony A6400. So this is not the Lumina right now, but I'm about to switch it to the Lumina so that you can see the difference. Um, I did some tests earlier and I will tell you about my little journey and um, what happened when I met with the guys at Lumina. I met with a customer support person who was amazing. So Lou Bortone, yes, exactly. Lou Bortone came, um, came with it and he had just shared about the Lumina webcam and I was like, What's that? Like, I haven't heard of that, but I'm interested. And especially when things were going badly last week <laughs> with my cam and they froze up, I thought I need a backup cam. And I also wanted another one because I wanted to create some different angles, which I'll be doing soon. Just haven't done it yet because there's so many, there's some, some goodness that's coming, y'all. I can't share it because I'm not allowed to share yet. But once the press release comes out, then I will share more. But there's so many good things, so wonderful blessings that are coming, and I just can't wait to share with you. So let's do this Lumina. Yes, I know. So Robert, RK3, have you seen the Lumina? I'm about to show it right now. I'm showing it right now. And let me pop this up. You stop, Anthony. <laughs> 25. Yeah, a half. <laughs> that was half of what I am now. <laughs> Man, I love it. I love you can keep those compliments coming, though. I love them. All right, here we go. Um, let's do. Let me see if I can unlock my screen here. And I'm going to see if this one is a scene where I can switch my camera. Okay, no. So let me switch to another one. I'll go back to this one right here. So right now you're looking at me on my A6400, my Sony. Here, you're going to look at the Lumina and I'm going to pull it back a little bit. Um, let's do, let's take off the cameraman. Okay, so you can kind of see that. So this is the Lumina. And let me tell you what I do like about it. What I like about it is that it sure does make your skin look nice. <laughs> like, it's almost like it has a built-in filter or something. I'm not sure. Yes. Okay. You had seen it before. Yes. Okay. So I like it, but honestly, RK3, I had to get used to the difference because there is a difference. Let me show y'all. I'm going to switch back and forth between this and I'm going to switch back to my cam link. So there's my cam link, right? That has a little bit more depth, right? A little bit more depth to it. Yeah, but I, I don't mind the Lumina now that I've got the settings right. So let me tell you about what happened with the settings. So 
Remember, for those of you who are inside of my Facebook group, you might have recalled that I was doing a test a couple of, um, probably last week sometime when I first got the cam. It's a little bitty, teeny tiny webcam. In fact, I did it a box, an unboxing video, so I'll make sure to share that soon on YouTube. Um, it's a little tiny cam. It's really cute. Yeah, I think so too, Jada. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the cam link looks a little bit warmer in the tone. Now you can switch that up a little bit, but here's here's what happened. So right out of the box when I popped it up, I wasn't it wasn't my favorite. Like it didn't seem like it was crisp enough. There was just too much a little bit of blurriness and even the guy from um yes, that is it. It's Illumina. You got it. L U M I N A. Um how about this? I will find that link for you and I will make sure to tell you exactly which one it is. Yeah, <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> Soft and better than my old trusty C920. Girl, you know I still got the C922 now. I still have my Logitech in the house. But I do like this as a backup because it does, um, it's got nice filtering. It's It's got nice lighting. And there's a couple of things. It's an AI camera. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me try to do like a super full screen if I can. Like there's nothing else in the scene. None of my pretty borders or any of that, right? So watch this. I'm going to um, play with the actual Lumina controls. Here's what I did because Lou recommended it. I was like, no, this, this has got to be good. I just don't have the settings right. So I went on to their support channel and I asked them on their support chat on the website, hey, can can I meet with somebody? Like, I need help because <laughs> I want the settings. There have to be better settings than what I'm seeing. And they had a way that I could actually create a quick appointment to meet with someone one-on-one -on -one to change up my controls and to show me exactly how to use it. And we spent about 30 minutes together just laughing and having a good time. But he also showed me some of the settings that I needed to update. So what I, you'll find when you get this is there's software that you should upload. And the software allows you to do a couple of things. And I'm going to show you what this looks like right now. So one is you can either use it in what's called raw mode where you don't have to add any other type of settings. You just do raw and then you can kind of change up the tint and the white balance, you know, like normal cams, right? But then there's this really cool thing called plus. So when you get the software installed on your computer and you're using the Lumina, watch this. In the plus, there's something called cameraman and it does this. So I'm framed, it's an AI, webcam so right now it's got me in frame and so if I move it moves with me and always keeps me in the frame how cool is that isn't that neat like so watch this <laughs> so it moves with you and you can change the speed but you don't really want it to go too quickly so I have it really really super low so that it doesn't give people whiplash every time I move right but you can change the framing of the camera by moving around. It is very, very cool. I know. I know. So look, this is definitely a big step up from your regular Zoom cameras, <laughs> the regular webcams. <laughs> I know, Jennifer. It's pretty cool. Let me show you all some more stuff because it is really nice. Um, let's see. Uh, we have, if I decided I wanted to put my facial position a little bit more where my head is kind of nearer to the top of the scene, then it will do that. If I wanted to frame it even a little bit more, that's a little close. <laughs> I'm going to move it back a bit because <laughs> that's too much, but you can do it that way. And then you can even do it you can just frame in different, you can use different frames, right? The other thing you can do is you can blur your background. This part is not my favorite. I don't think this looks excellent. So I'm going to be clear on that, but I'm going to show you what that can look like. So see how it's blurring, right? So it's giving you a little bit of that depth effect, but I, it's not, it's not to me as clean as my DSLR. So I don't know that I'll use the blurring strength that much here. 
I put it back down to a level two, but notice how if I go all the way over here to a seven, right? So I think you would have to play with that, but I definitely think it's a step up from just a regular like Logitech, which is still one of my go-tos, y'all. So if you're on a budget and you're trying to find a cam, Logitech C920 and 922 are still in effect decent cameras, right? Um, I would say my next best now would probably be something like this. Yeah. Yeah, it is not a clean blur. And you can notice my face. Yeah, not the blur. You can also notice my face kind of glitching a little bit here and there with this. Whereas, I'm going to show you the difference. Here's my cam link, y'all. So here's my cam link. And so the blur, the natural blur and the depth, I got to remember to switch cameras. The depth, um, I like it better with the DSLR if I'm going to use that. I know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's not my favorite, but I do like the framing option that's available in the Lumina. I like the framing option. I didn't necessarily like the blur thing. Now, I want you to, because I always have to pop up my boy JP. So JP, RK3, Dr. Elo, Gabe, the Stream Tornado, all of these guys, they are like the pros. So JP says the blur could be acceptable for folks that do not have a pro camera, but you can tell it's AI based. <laughs> now I'm making you want to buy the Lumina. Look, I bought it as a backup cam because last week told me that I needed to get the heck up and go on Amazon and go find me a backup because <laughs> it, it was not hot that I was having to use my Mac FaceTime camera. I was not happy about that. <laughs> and I still have my C922, but it was just not at the proper angle last week. So Lumina, I, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. So shout out to Lou Bertone. Yes, you are correct. That is accurate on Amazon right now. It is $199. For those of you who need to know or want to know, let me see if I can actually create a little link real quick and I'll do this for you fast. If you want to know where my shop is and you want to take a look at my recommended tools, let me pop up streamlikeaboss.shop. Oops, let's blow that up a little bit more. You can kind of see it right there. Streamlikeaboss.shop. Go there and you'll be able to take a look at um, some of my favorite things, okay? Some of my favorite tools, gear, apps. I do not yet, I don't think I have the Lumina on there since I just added it and I wanted to test it to be sure that I was going to refer it, but I definitely will refer this now. Um, so shout out to Lou Bertone for sharing it and letting me know that it was even available. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me do this. I'm going to switch over to, um, to comments because they are coming in hot and I need to make sure I'm capturing all of this. Let me go back a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Ah, price range. So yes, it is $199 for that Lumina. Yeah, I wasn't happy with the blur. The low level one or two is probably sufficient. And the guy from Lumina, their support was just awesome. Amazing. I loved talking to them. They were so much fun. And they gave me real advice. They gave me real information about what to do. And he literally walked me through based on my setup what the setting should be. So let's see. Next, you like that zoom in? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Let's see what else. We saw that. Chocolate treat. What's up? Just getting home. So you can catch up on the replay. I'm just talking shop right now. I don't even have a real agenda, which is not like me, but it's my birthday week, so I'm playing. Thank you, Miss Cynthia, for the happy birthday wishes. Yay! How does it do for portrait? So Michelle, um, it doesn't have that. Let me back up. What it will let you do, yes. So JP said, I will surely end up buying this and recommending it as a minimum acceptable camera <laughs> for if, if you're trying to level up your video presence. Yes, that is correct, Michelle. That's where I was going to go. 
you can use the portrait on melon and with the cam okay so facebook user who i don't i can't see one of the things you may be able to do let me see if if um it will tell me on here it's not telling me tonight who that is i'm sorry i will find out <laughs> I have been so airheaded lately. <laughs> Y'all, it's so bad. But I promise you it's because I'm doing some really big things. So my focus on some of the details has been um, a little lacking. But I'm working with a number of clients. And I, Tiffany, okay, Miss Tiffany, hey, girl. Yes, it, it should give you the option, but I'm going to have to work on that. So chocolate treat. If you're within seven days of some serious purchases, the one thing I would do is definitely take my advice. Pay attention to the things you need. As a matter of fact, you're going to want to go back. Go back to last week's live where we talked about live streaming on a budget and make sure that you create that chart. That you create that chart that is asking, what is it that I have already? What do I want? What do I need? And how much is it going to cost? Okay, make yourself that table and then start putting things down so that you can make some wise decisions about your video purchases. That's what I would definitely suggest. Yeah, I think, um, I think JP, that this could be an acceptable option for sure. I like the, um, the Lumina. I think that it can work. Let me see if I can switch back. There's me again, but I'm going to, let me take it down a notch because <laughs> I don't like it having my face all up in there. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit better for me. I don't want to have everybody up my nose unless I'm doing something fun, like, like I'm actually sharing a screen or something, which I'm about to do. I'm going to show you some things because I promised I would give y'all a sneak peek at what I'm building. I was hoping to have it built like ASAP because I have these big ideas and then I'm like, yes, I'm going to make this happen today. <laughs> and then I work really hard on it and I don't sleep. And then you get what you get today, which is me with an unprepared live stream. <laughs> yes, I need y'all to see JP's note on this too. Look, you're always going to learn stuff even inside of the comments and RK3 added on to it as well. The lighting makes the difference. So don't go about making the mistake of buying a bunch of video devices and gear and then you don't have the proper lighting to make it look decent. Okay, so one of the things that was definitely clear when I worked with the guy from the Lumina shop, we talked about this and he said, hey, your lighting is excellent. So let me see what I can do with the lighting that you have. Right. Um, and that's one of the things that I want to make sure that you're paying attention to is that it's not just about that one singular device that's going to change your whole video game. It's about the package. It's about building on top of the things that you have and creating an entire scene, right? So to JP and RK3's point, because he says the same thing, look, the lighting will make the difference. And this is my India, India Delgado, who is my Stream Deck Queen, by the way, in case you don't know, Stream Deck Queen in the house. If you need somebody to help you to program your Stream Deck, and if you don't know what that is, let me try to show you really quickly here. It is this lovely little doohickey here, <laughs> right here. It has all these little fancy buttons and it allows you to press buttons and change lights and add sounds and do all kinds of fun stuff. It's magical. So definitely you want to get in touch with her. Yes. Okay. So some people have questions about lighting. Yeah, and RK3 said that a C920 can look amazing. As a matter of fact, when I was using my C922 more regularly, and that's all I had, I did that with the proper lighting. Now, the lighting that I had that I started out with, I'm, I'm going to tell you all a little bit about my scenery. I have a, um, I had a walk-in closet <laughs> when I first started. I'm, I'm being real with you all. 
So I had a walk-in closet, and that did not have much lighting at all. Like it had the fluorescent lighting that when you turned on the light switch, it came on at the top up here. And so as far as lighting on the face, no, that wasn't even there. What I ended up doing is I initially bought my first real purchase of lighting were two shadow boxes, similar to what people in photography were doing back then, which it's, it's really upgraded and updated nowadays. But I had some really old shadow boxes, the big giant boxes that you can't collapse them or anything. You just have to kind of leave them up after you're done. But that gave me um, that gave me what I needed at the time. When I moved out into this space where I am right now, what I realized is depending on the time of day, natural lighting could work or it might be horrible. And so you do not want to rely. I used to say that natural lighting is great, but natural lighting can be weird. And I bet RK3, JP, India, everybody, because India is another expert in my, my crew that I was just naming. But one of the things that I think would end up being a problem for you is if you totally rely on natural lighting and then you forget about the fact that weather could change up your whole live stream scene. So if it gets cloudy one day, or if it's raining, or if it's snowing, or if it's, you know, just dark because you're doing your video at night instead of during the daytime, there's any number of reasons that natural lighting could end up being not a good idea, right? Um, let me pop these comments up so I can make sure I don't miss them. I know there's a bunch of stuff. Yes, it's Stream Like a Boss. So my streamlikeaboss.shop has a bunch of different affiliate program. Well, it's products within my Amazon store. So yes, I do earn a commission from that um, to the question that the person's asking. That may be Tiffany in there. And if you go to, if you're inside of my academy or you're inside of my Facebook group and you have access to my recommendations list, many of those are affiliate links. They are links to products, programs, and services I believe in enough to say, hey, you should look into this for yourself and see if this might be worth your while. If you choose to purchase it, then I may receive a commission. So yes, to that question. Um, back to the lighting. The most important thing is to kind of play around and see what's going to be most effective for you and for your specific brand. Like what's going to look good for the way in which you have things set up. For me, I didn't have like this really warm look. When I graduated from the walk-in closet, um, I ended up going with a ring light. The ring light was fine, but what I discovered is when I would wear my glasses, I'd see that ring in my glasses, and I hated that. And then I ended up going to key lights. So you'll see each of these type of lights probably inside of my Stream Like a Boss shop. Okay, um, but I currently like the key lights that I have. And then I also have little ambiance setting lights, which you can kind of see some of that. So like this is my newest one right here. You can't even you can barely see it. And that's a, that's my intention is I just wanted a little bare minimum pink peeking through. You can see my um, my little tree lights that I found for like 10 bucks at a Dollar Tree or something, but I love them because they're very subtle and they're just kind of giving me just a little bit of oomph. I like my love sign. I found that. Um, I think I found that on Amazon because when I saw it, I thought, you know what? Who, we could all use a little bit more love in the world. Why can't I just put that up? It's pink and it says love. <laughs> I want people to know that that's something I believe in. That's something I want to spread. That's something that I want to embrace and I want you to embrace it too. So yeah, you're going to find things and build on your own studio and set by thinking about what represents you well, what makes you smile, what makes you happy, what makes you enjoy the space. Um, what gives people an impression of you and a perception of who you are and what you're all about? That's how I decided to build my own studio set. 
it was based on all those things. Now, what um, JP said earlier, I thought was really wonderful. He talked about the fact that Tanya 3.0 is coming. He is right because <laughs> he is helping me. Tanya 3.0 is coming, y'all. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. Yes, Tony. Tony has a question. What streaming app are you using? And look, all of my brothers and sisters in the Philippines, um, I need my husband up here to give me a good word. He, he teaches me um, Tagalog because he is typically in Alangapo. Um, I know some people in Cebu and... Um, there's a couple of other places in the, the Philippines that we were able to visit when we could visit him because he's there most of the time throughout the year. So in answer to my Filipino brother's question, the streaming app I am using right now is Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live. And I am broadcasting using my Sony A6400 webcam. I have one of my two key lights on right now. I have three monitors. What else do I have? I have a little side light that's over here that just helps a little bit boost. It boosts me with the depth of field, right? So it just gives me a little bit more of a 3D feel so I don't blend into the background. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm using. That's the set. Let me see. Um, there's a couple of other things in here. I, let me pop up comments again because there's so many really good ones. So JP said, one word for beginners with lighting. See this right here? <clears throat> Diffusion. It helps make your skin smooth. So purchase a light that allows you to change the temperature. Yes. And India said the same thing. Lighting is a progression. I'm in the process of a new stage. Now, look, India has an amazing setup. Oh, my God. Y'all need to see her show. She's going to get a cob light. This is, I love geeking out with all these people who go get these geeky things. <laughs> I know, incredible huge boxes on Amazon. <laughs> yes. I love it because there's so many options and you definitely don't have to go out and do all the things, y'all. But just to know what's available and what's possible, you're going to be picking and choosing all of this, I think, is a progression. All of this is about you kind of finding your way. So please don't feel like you have to go out today, like I like to say, today, and just create everything. You don't have to do it all today. You can build. And this is why I said definitely watch last week's video if you want more tips on the whole live streaming budget thing and how to plan for that. Let's see what else we got in here. Yeah, y'all are just hot with the comments. Thank you. <laughs> I love it because I'm looking for these. Oh, streamlikeaboss.com. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. If you're looking for my Amazon store, let me pop that up one more time. I'm going to put it in here for you. My Amazon store is streamlikeaboss.shop. Dot shop, okay? So I will pop that up for you so that you have it. There it is. Okay. And if that can help you, if there's any ideas that you can get from going to the shop, by all means, go to it. And if there is a question about any of the things in the shop, just DM me. I'm responsive. I do pay attention. Yeah, RK3, hit it. Temperature is key. Use the temp that works for you, for the look you want, and for your skin tone. For those of you who are my black and brown sisters and brothers, this is something that I had to really pay attention to that I didn't understand at first. When I first started using my C922, I was trying to just let it go with the auto default. It defaulted on this white balance, and the white balance was not working. It made my skin look green. And I kept trying to figure out what is going on and why does my skin look green on this webcam? I think I have the proper lighting. I just could not fix it. What I realized for me is that I had to turn the white balance off. So I took it off of the default on the C922 and then I had to play around with the tone and to the point that JP and Robert are making, that RK3 is making, 
you want lights that will give you different temperature settings. So when you buy, if you buy the ring light or even if you get the key lights, you want to be able to change between that amber. There's a kind of an amber yellowish type of warmer light. And there's more of a white slash blue lighting setting. You got to figure out, depending on your skin tone, what's going to make you look your best. So you may have to play around with that. India said she has a squirrel overlay because she absolutely gets the squirrels. I know, girl. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> and JP says, use a light you can control. And Jennifer, you are so right. Oh, my goodness. So if it's too bright or you get harsh, direct midday sun, natural in the right place and supplement it. Yeah, there's so many affordable ways. Yeah, the sun moves, so your natural lighting will change. Yes, yes, because y'all, I was loving the idea of natural lighting at first. And if you look at some of my older videos, I'm talking about natural lighting all day. That's what I'm talking about. And, and what I found out was, no, I can't do that because the place that I moved this particular set to, I have a big old window over there. And at a certain time of day when I would go live, it would be a big old glare right here. Like it, it would just pinpoint me right here, this direct light and the rest of it would look great. And then I have this big stripe of sun. <laughs> so, so you have to pay attention where you're going to be sitting and what time of day. And really in the end, you just need to go ahead and buy the doggone artificial lighting if you're serious about doing more video. It's that simple, yes. Yes, and RK3 loves his key lights. I love my key lights too. That's one of my best purchases ever. Love your love sign. Thank you. Doug, I know my lava lamp. Let me tell you why I don't have my lava lamp on. I don't have it on because it tends to get really hot. It's like crazy hot to the point to where I get scared. It's going to catch something on fire. So I think I need to get a new lava lamp that is not um, a fire hazard. So right now it's just here for looks. <laughs> but maybe I should have gotten that for my birthday. I don't know. Let's see. I know. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let me fix it. I'm going to fix it while I switch over to another screen. I'll fix that. I promise. And let me see what other questions we have. How do you convince the family to give up the space? Yeah. Yeah. So for me, Michelle, um, the space itself, I'm just moving stuff because I did not lock anything tonight. I'm a mess. I told y'all I was a mess, though. I did warn you. Um, <laughs> the family was not using this space. And so it was just, it was a bunch of toys and stuff that nobody actually even cared about. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go use that space that nobody's using right now. And then, of course, everybody was like, oh, yeah, we want to use that space after it got all pretty. <laughs> but no, my family supports me so much. And, and I honestly have to just be so thankful because it can be a real thing, Michelle, right? When you are sharing space with your loved ones and you're trying to create that perfect scene or that set where you can come in and out and not have to move things around. So the important thing is really just to have the conversations with everyone about what you're trying to do. Um, I find that the more that I talk to my family about what I want to do and, and share with them my vision, the more willing they are to be supportive and to, to clap for me and to even be my test audience at times. <laughs> and what's funny is my eldest daughter, I think I showed you all, some of you met her if you saw us do our little green screen review at Christmas time. I brought my eldest daughter on. I never thought she'd be doing anything in media. And y'all, now she is the face of UTD Comet Sports. So University, University of Texas at Dallas Comet Sports. She's the face of their sports. She's doing um, commenting. So she's a commentator for the games. She's uh, doing interviews. And she's such a natural. Like, she's just got this beautiful smile. She's really relaxed. And she's just doing it. Even though she is a criminology major and her, her lifelong dream is something totally different. But the fact that she has 
I feel like gotten some a little bit of influence, just a teeny tiny little influence because I made this decision to be bold and to do something for myself and for others that I thought would serve. And she's watching that and she's using that gift for her own. And that that just it just makes my heart happy. So you never know when you finally set out and you do that thing that you really love and that your purpose to do. You never know who you're influencing. You never know who's watching or who's now going to be brave and bold too because you made a decision to be bold. Thank you so much for that kind word. Yeah, um so JP High Tech who you've seen here in the comments actually helped me to really um make my scene pop. Like I was doing some things, but then he came in and added a whole new level <laughs> to all of it. So I love it. <laughs> I love it. You are so welcome, Miss Detail Diva. Miss Tiffany in the house. Yes. Okay. What did I use? This is a great, great question. What did you use to remove glare from your glasses? Look, y'all keep asking these questions because I'll stay on for a little while longer. This is fun to me. Um, the question is, how? what did I use to remove the glare? So first and foremost, I made the decision to stop using um, the ring light. The ring light worked for a while. It served its purpose, but because whenever I decided to wear glasses when I was having those little allergy moments, which sometimes I still have, because um, <laughs> I live in Texas, uh, allergies, um, I noticed that that glare was always going to be there because the ring light is not diffused light. It's not softening like what JP had mentioned. And if JP, RK3, India, if any of you have any thoughts on this, feel free to add those too. But the thing that helped me was the key lights because the key lights are kind of at an angle like this. This is how I have them set. So they're kind of, let me see if I can make it work. <laughs> they're a little like this, right? So they are giving me soft lighting. They're not directly in my face like this. So when I wear glasses now, instead of this big ring being, you know, glare reflecting in my glasses, because the light is kind of coming from the side and lighting up my face, it's not a problem anymore. So when I wear glasses now, if I had a pair, I'd show you, you won't see that because it's just diffused. It's more soft and it's not directly in my, my uh, span of vision. It's not going to create that glare. So that's one of the things you can play with angles of your lighting. Let's see. I'm looking for other questions. If you have questions, pop them on in there. That was a great question. Miss Yvette. Okay. So Yvette C. Lee Music. The camera I am using in the moment is the Sony A6400. Um, what I will do now, I'll show you the difference because I think you may have just come in from YouTube, ma'am. I have been testing this little baby right here, which is the Lumina. Lumina. Um, the Lumina is not a bad camera. It's actually not too bad at all. And I am liking the idea of having this as a backup. I may not use it all the time. Let me try to switch it right here so you can really get the full effect. I may not use it all the time, but I still kind of like the idea of having it as a backup. Um, and it does have the AI. Oh, I don't have it on right now. But you can turn on the artificial intelligence cameraman. And what will happen when you frame it a certain way is when you move, it moves with you and always keeps you center frame, which is kind of cool. Now, will I use it that much? I don't know, because I don't move that much. <laughs> I have a standing desk now and I do like my standing desk for helping me to not be lazy all day. So I'll, I like to get up, you know, every 30 minutes, 20 minutes or so and stand for about an hour and then sit again just to get that, you know, movement going, especially when I'm working really hard. But I don't see myself doing a lot of movement, but I guess if you did, you could use this for to help you frame. And I do 
kind of like the effect that it gives you with the soft glow. So that's kind of cool. I mean, it's definitely softer than the cam link. My cam link, however, is more realistic. Like it really shows my face. <laughs> it shows me for real, for real. Yeah, and you know what? Let me pop this up because JP made a comment. Unlike public opinion, the ring light is not a video light. It's actually a photo makeup light. And it became popular in the beauty industry and advertised to the streamers industry. I can see that. And he would know. <laughs> he would know this. Um, I can see that. That is why I, I really didn't love my ring light. I did at the time because it was better than any other lighting I had. And you definitely are going to want to budget for whatever it is you're choosing to put into your studio set. But, um, but start with where you are. Start with what you have and then build up on that. Because the key lights can get pretty darn expensive. And if you're like me and you're looking at it and they're like, hey, you need to have two, one on each side. I bought two, but I only use one. So maybe try to, to layer a little bit and see if you can start with one and that one may end up working fine. Yeah, looking at the switch and the Lumina looks a little more natural and the other one you were look, using looks more polished. Right, so I think that there's a difference in um, purpose because definitely you can see all my little blemishes, which I'm okay with. I, I don't, I'm just not that. It's not that deep to me, <laughs> but if that is a problem for you and you're like, I don't want any of my blemishes to show, then you might want to do something like this Lumina because it smooths out the skin. It gives you kind of a different look. I, I guess it just depends on what you like, right? And I still love my cam link. That's still like my favorite, but I can see how people would... Um, Yes. Okay. So Chocolate Treat wants to know how to contact JP. So JP, you're both in YouTube. Could you, would you mind sharing your contact information? JP High Tech Reviews is where you can find him on YouTube. And she said, turn the camera around and show the key lights. How about, let me see if I can do that with my, um, I have my phone. As much as I did not come prepared, I kind of am prepared. Let me see if I can do this for you, okay? I'll see if I can show you my key light and how it's set up right now without too much problem. Yeah, that might be able to give you what you need. Okay, so I'm going to try not to show all my junk because <laughs> I need to, to do a few things. But can you see my phone? Um, look for my phone right there, uh, Michelle, okay? So I'm answering your question. You said, turn the camera around and show the key lights. Okay, so see where my key light is? So it's over one of my monitors, and it's kind of at an angle. It's not even pointing directly at me. So here's me looking at you <laughs> through my Ecamm studio, and here's my key light. And I have another one that's over here, but I don't even use it. And then there's my C922 camera and another little light that's on top of a monitor. So hopefully that helped. <laughs> I think I, I just gave you a view of what it looks like. Okay. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Let's see. What other questions do we have in here? I want to show you. Yes, and I only needed one. Yeah, I only needed one. I, I didn't even need the two. Oh, you know what? I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. So I will add my standing desk. There are three that I looked at that I really, really liked. I landed on one. One, because of pricing. The pricing was really affordable. And two, because it it didn't have, it doesn't make a lot of noise. So I will find that and I will add that. Let me make a note so I don't forget. So I got to contact RK3 <laughs> and then my other chore, my task that I'm adding to my list is also to add standing desk. Okay, I will do that and Lumina. I think I need to add that too to my shop. 
So I'll do that for y'all as soon as I get done here shortly. I will do that. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know JP has been telling, he's like, when are you going to do that behind the scenes video? You have been telling me. <laughs> Let me tell y'all why I haven't done it. It's that perfection thing. I know I have this whole room up here that I want to switch up. Like there's a ton of things I want to do to it. I want to create, like I want one of the walls to be just all green so it can be my green screen wall and I don't have to do the pull up and pull down thing with my um, projector style green screen. I want it just to be a wall with that. I want another wall to be like a darker gray blue and I want some really comfortable cute furniture there with the flower vase. I've got this whole vision in my head of what I want it to look like and it's not done yet. That is the only thing that has kept me from showing my entire studio because I still am building it out and I want it to be where it's going to be so you can see all the beautiful things that have been in my head that are now like here. <laughs> but I'll get past that and at least I will do a video just showing at least this part that I've set up that's nice and beautiful. How about that? I'll get it done, sir. Okay. I don't know what else y'all have. I'm going to fix this real fast for us. So notice y'all when you do your, um, let's see if we can do it like that. When you do your, yeah, I'm such a goober. Okay. <laughs> when you do your Ecamm live comments, there's certain things you have to do to make sure it looks right. Okay, so bedtime. This has been great. You're welcome. Doing three things now. <laughs> okay, awesome, awesome. I will put the standing desk in the shop. Okay, fine, JP. Just come. <laughs> okay, yes, Michelle. The It's going to be the room where I am right now. It is. It's going to be the room where I am right now, but this is just a tiny part of my entire space that's up here. It's like a family room, and I want to turn this whole space into different parts of a studio because I have plans. Speaking of those plans, I promised I would show y'all really quickly I'm going to do this. I'm going to share with you my screen, and I'm going to share with you really quickly, really, really super quick, a quick... um visual of what I'm working on and why it's not done yet. <laughs> okay, I am in the process right now of building out something amazing for you. I didn't want to just have the same old standard quiz. Now, my girl Ty Goodwin, her team is who set me up for success by creating the quiz for me in the first place. All I've done is some extra additional tweaking, and I really thought through how do I make this become a tool for learning for my audience, as well as a lead magnet for me? How do I draw more people into my space and my community so I can love on them, at the same time teach them, and at the same time convert them into becoming paying clients? Because this is a business. Businesses run on what? They run on cash. So in case you didn't know, we're not all over here just doing this thing because we love to do the thing, although that's a big part of it for me for sure. But we're also doing it because we want to be able to build a sustainable business so that we can support our families, our loved ones, and our lifestyle. Okay? And we want to do more stuff for you. So I am creating an entire space and I'll show you really fast what this is starting to look like and how it's coming along. I have <clears throat> taken every single answer response um, stage that you're in, right? 
And wherever you fall, when you take this quiz, and I've even revamped some of the questions and revisited how I wanted those to be worded because I really want these to get at where you truly are. When you take the quiz, what's going to happen is you'll actually come to a page where you're able to get access to information about the quiz. I'm still building out this page, but more to come on that. You'll simply click. You'll go through the questions. By the time you're done with taking this quiz, which is less than three minutes, okay, what will end up happening is then you'll be taken to a specific action plan. It's one of four action plans that you will get access to. So I'm still building out these action plans, but your quiz results are going to tell you where you fall in the space of these four different stages and you will get access. And this is not even something that costs you anything. Okay, are y'all hearing me on this? The goal is that I want you to learn. So I have four different action plans. Um, each of them has a very specific name and for a specific reason based on how you responded to the questions in the quiz. In addition, when you get access to the action plan, you then have access for 30 days to a private members only area where you can then access your five day plan, a specific course that is intended for you based on where you are, a webinar, and some other tools that will be right for you. Now, at the end, what will happen is you will then be added to an invitation list. So you'll be added. I'm going to invite you into a program that is right for you because not every program that I have is right for everybody. It's going to depend on the level um, whether you're advanced, whether you're still kind of at the beginning stages, if you have an offer, all of those things will be dependent or will be the reason why we offer you an invite to a specific program. So I'm going to be sharing more on this probably towards the end of the month when we get ready to open up Stream Bosses Academy. But I wanted to let you know this is what I've been working really hard at. Um, and it's a lot of work because there are a lot of different pieces to the puzzle that I keep finding that I need to complete and videos that I need to create. There's a lot of content that I already have too that will be really effective. For instance, my webinar, which I don't even release anymore to people about how to identify your most valuable video viewer or how to actually look at your the different stages of your customer life cycle and how you're selling using live streaming and other forms of video content. So there's there's work being done, which is why I was not very structured in tonight's live. But anyway, we're at the end of the hour, y'all. So I just wanted to thank you again for coming, for showing up and hanging out, even though I didn't have anything on tap for with the outline. It was fun just answering your questions. If you have more questions, I want you to pop those into the comments and I will come back. But I probably won't come back tonight. I'll come back later this week and this weekend and make sure that I respond to you. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Miss Valerie Hatcher, the standing desk is in the shop. That's my BFF right there, y'all. My birthday twin. Almost. We're like a day apart. <laughs> So she just said that the standing desk, whoever was asking for that, it is in the shop right now. Okay. Awesome. All right. If anybody has questions, let me know. But otherwise, I'm scanning through to make sure I didn't miss anything. I just so appreciate y'all for being here. And thanks for letting me test out the Lumina and for giving me feedback on that. And next week, I'll be back with some real information and then we also have some special guests that are going to be coming up so we're going to have dr elo in the house we're also going to have we have another special guest coming i need to look at our our calendar hold on let me do that real quick because i do not want to forget but we have some cool people coming in y'all so this is going to be awesome um latara venice is coming on the 20th. Let me share this with you all. We've got to switch it up. The next two weeks, we're going to be on Tuesday instead of Thursday. I'm so glad I looked at this. 
We're going to be on Tuesday because I have speaking engagements. I have to do some speaking gigs on Thursdays for the next two weeks. One is going to be with Texas Women's University. I'm really excited about that. Um, we're doing a workshop for them on my Thursday. So Dr. Elo is going to come on th- on Tuesday the 27th, and Miss Latara is going to be here on the 20th, which is next Tuesday. So we'll have to switch it up, and I'll make sure I put that into all of our information. This weekend, I'll go ahead and do a promo for the 20th so that you'll have that info, but Just know we're going to switch up the dates for the next two weeks. And then we'll be back on schedule. All right, everybody. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. It's almost over. It's time for the weekend. Go enjoy it. Yes. Oh, I got one more question that's in here that I want to try to answer. So future questions and insight on and about Creative Commons. I'm going to be careful in that space, Chocolate Treat, and I'll tell you why. I am not a legal advisor. I'm not a lawyer or an attorney. And so I do not want to get into giving you advice that really should be better served for someone who has um, the legal chops and can tell you specifically about your business and the best thing that you can do. Now, I have interviewed someone and I will share if you go to my YouTube channel and you look at my interviews Um, there is a guest who was on who shared some really interesting information about video and legalities, and he is an attorney. Let me see if I can find the link that I want you to definitely go to. Um, He is under my Stream Like a Boss guest interviews, Gordon Firemark. Look up Gordon Firemark. You'll see him on my front page on my channels. He's about the fifth video in on my Stream Like a Boss guest interviews. That might be one for you to watch if you have questions of that nature. And then Queen Kelly in the house. What's up, lady? I need to learn Melon. How do I do it without going live for real? Or is there no way around that? So I have a couple of Melon tutorials inside of the Academy. Since you're a stream boss, you have access to that. So I'll get in there in a second and make sure I send you that direct link for Melon. The number one thing I would tell you is absolutely you can record without going live. When you go into Melon in the dashboard, you're going to see that there's an option for record. Like it's record only. There's a button at the bottom and then there's one for going live. So if you just want to record your video and save it, just click on record, right? The thing you want to check is to make sure if whether or not you have programmed melon to automatically do an intro or automatically do an outro because if you don't want that to be part of your recording you want to turn those off but i will make sure you have that link directly in the academy so you can get access i have actually two tutorials one when they first came out and another with some updated stuff yes and chocolate treat exactly right go to youtube and look up gordon firemark on my um on my channel youtube.com slash tanya smith t-a-n-y-a-s-m-i-t-h that's me and gordon firemark is in there and you can also follow him and he has some really good information that will help you as well okay so when you're doing an interview got you so queen um yes yes you just click on record only so you're going to bring your guest in right and you're going to just use the record option now i'll tell you a secret and this is something i do when i'm trying to test out my streams or i'm using software like that um, but i don't want everybody to see it What I have is actually a page that is just, it's not even a published page. It's just me that can access it. And sometimes I will use that to do test runs. So if you find that you're having trouble, but you shouldn't, just doing record when you do your interview, okay? You're just going to bring your guest in like you normally would. You're both going to be on screen. You're going to go through the motions of doing, um, you know, having your talk. And you're just going to make sure you click record. 
but not go live. But if you needed to go live and you wanted to see how it's going to look in a stream, what you could do is have a an unpublished Facebook page, okay? And you can use that, connect that to your melon as a destination. That's the only destination you choose. And then you can go live there and it will record it and broadcast it into that unpublished page so you can see what it's going to end up looking like. But you definitely will want to play around with that. I know that, was it Christopher? Somebody in my group inside of the Facebook group had a question about what was going on with Melon's quality. They still are checking on that. So Jeff over at Melon has been in touch with me and staying in touch and letting me know that they're running some tests and trying to figure out what the problem is because I've been running tests with Ecamm and with Melon and I've been finding that Melon has been lacking in quality for some reason for me with streams. I can see the a very dramatic difference between the two um, and I also see that difference when I go live in Restream. I ran that test with all three platforms and the only one that was giving me blurriness was my melon. So I don't know what's going on with that. And Queen, if you run into that problem, what I recommend, I think you have Zoom. You can always fall back on your buddy Zoom. You can always fall back on that for the interview. But I would do, do a test run with somebody in your household or somebody, like a good friend. Just do record only in Melon as in, pull them in as a guest just to make sure that it's going to give you the quality that you want. Oh, and also turn off all the other apps. Close your windows. Run a speed test. Go to speedtest.net. Double check the speed on your internet to just make sure everything's coming out the way that it should. Okay. That's what I love about Ecamm right now is it, it has a built-in speed test. So it told me right before we did this, hey, you're doing good because you're, you know, you're over the minimum required speed to be able to broadcast to all the destinations. Okay. Good to know. So Michelle said hers was fine on Monday. Perfect. All right, y'all, I for somebody who didn't have an agenda, I sure have been on here for a minute. <laughs> so now I think it's time to go, but it's been fun. Thank you so much for spending a little time with me once again. I hope that you have an amazing weekend, and I'm going to enjoy a little bit more of my birthday as well as my grandmother-in-law's birthday. She turned 95 the day after I had my birthday. She turned 95, and so we're celebrating her this weekend, and I'm really excited that we get to do that with her. So, y'all take care. Oh, thank you. I love you all, too. You're the best. Have a wonderful rest of the week, and I will see you all next time in the stream.